What's going on, family? My name is Lamar Tyler. I'm the creator and founder of Traffic, Sales, and Profit. We help entrepreneurs do three things, drive more traffic, convert more sales, and grow the amount of profit in your business. Uh, we are here, right? Um, I'm about to say it's a lot going on. I feel like I've been saying it's a lot going on for the last two months, right? It's a lot going on, um, but this is what I saw, and this is what I wanted to do, and this is what I wanted to bring to you guys today. Um, a few days ago, I, 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 I saw a good buddy of mine, you know, not like, it's not like some random I'm just scrolling through, right? The guy's a good friend of mine. So, uh, and a client. So I saw him um, post something the other day and I said, you know what? That's going to be good. I got to make sure we bring that to TSP. And with everything that's going on right now, the one thing that we've been doing is the one thing I'm going to continue to do. And it's the one thing we need now more than ever. So if you didn't hear me before, when I say we need to build black businesses, if you didn't hear me before when I said we need to economically empower ourselves, if you didn't hear me before when I said we need to build a platform of wealth creation and not just for us right now, meaning me and you, but for our children and our children's children and the children that come after them that we'll never meet, that we'll never get the blessing to meet, right? But they will know our names because we'll leave them something. If you did not hear me before when I said we need to create jobs, maybe you're going to start to listen now. So what I'm going to do, just like we always do, and we're going to ramp it up even a little bit more, is bring you people to the forefront that are going to help you get to the money. That's going to help you get the bag. I think that's what y'all say online nowadays, right? Get a little bit older. That's what I hear on, on the streets. Y'all say, these people I'm bringing will help you get the bag. So this brother I'm bringing to you today is no different. I need you to do me a favor, right, in the comments before I bring them on. I need you to drop your name, drop where you're from, and drop your business. If you want to approach your business too, here's a chance to drop it down to the chat. I want to know who we got watching today. Um, what we're talking about today is expert photography with your smartphone, because if you can do a better job of, of conveying um, your product, of your service, of increasing your branding and doing it from a device you already have on you, you will make more money. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to make more money so that you can equip and support our community so we can shift the economic outlook of the black community. All right. So let me tell you who we got. We're going to bring them on. And we're going to get started with this thing. Today, we have Milton Lawrence Jr. He's a renowned international lifestyle photographer and cinematographer. He is also the founder of the game-changing Milton Lawrence Creative Agency, the go-to solution for visual branding and storytelling. Originally from the inner city of Baltimore, Maryland, with West Indian roots from Trinidad and Tobago, Milton has amassed over a decade of experience capturing the beauty and humanity of life through a single lens. Milton's uncanny skill to balance edge, culture, and creativity in visual presentations has afforded him the opportunity to serve big brands and organizations such as AT&T, CNN, and the National Museum of American History, excuse me, in addition to Yahoo and Visa. His work has also been featured in Essence, Moonalaki, Bride, The Knot, Black Enterprise, and the Today Show. Y'all, please show some TSP love for my main man, Milton Lawrence. And let's bring him in. What's going on, Milton? How are you? Man, I'm extremely excited to be here, man. Thank you for leaning in, man, during this time, bro. Oh, thank you, man. You know, that's what we all are about, right? Um, and that's why I wanted to have this conversation. That's why I thank you for taking the time out to come today with well, everything that's going on because yeah. we literally have something that can get people to the money. Let's talk about that for a second. Like, like, do you think that better images will help people get more money in their businesses? Absolutely. Um, I think, you know, you know, better images is, is a component. It's an ingredient to content, right? So we're putting content out there because we're trying to get to the bag. And, the, and content helps us to be able to do that. And so great photography is the disruptor. It's, it allows people when you're on social media, where you're, you're doing various ad campaigns and things like that, to get people to stop, to even to look at the various things that you may have inside of your, your headlines, your hooks and things like that, uh, to get, obviously, I get them to convert into customers. I love it. Um, I love everything you're talking about right there. So real quick, before we get into it, like what's your background? Um, because people are like, all right, this brother just pick up he just picked up no kid phone right a couple years ago and he started doing his thing like you actually are an international lifestyle photographer so so how'd you get into this and how we got to get to this point where we're at right now yeah man so i actually was between jobs um my background i'm originally from baltimore um i served eight years in the marine corps and when i transitioned out um my mother took in sick um so i had to move from the west coast back to baltimore uh and so i didn't have a job so anybody knows anybody from the inner city we know we like to hustle and so um, I picked up the camera and um, my, my original goal was just to make a few dollars in the nightclubs. But there was one major problem. Kim Kardashian at the time around 2000, 2000, 2008, 2009 made the selfie popular. And so where it was, I thought I was going to be able to go into the club, take some pictures and that type of thing on the backdrop and make a couple of dollars. Um, the smartphone camera started to get better. And so that was quickly nixed and I wasn't able to be able to make any money. So the long and short of it was, 
I then got into shooting weddings and working with a lot of hairstylists and makeup artists. And that's how my work started to get published in various publications because branding was a major, uh, was a major thing back in 2009, right. 2010. That right. was a hot, that was a hot term. And so that's essentially how I got into it. Um, leveraging my, my professional background. I also spent some time um, as a defense contractor working in corporate and that type of thing. And many of them needed content. They needed, you know, photography and video and those types of things. And so I may use the word content, um, but that, you know, content could mean many different things, but in most cases it's photography, video, blog posts, those types of things. And so that's kind of how I got into that. And then they would host retreats all over the country and they would also host weddings. I, I mean, host, um, uh, like corporate retreats all over all internationally. And so I would just essentially, they would take me with them, uh, to document the experience and they would leverage that, that experience to be able to keep retention, be able to bring new customers, um, new employees on to show the amount of fun that they were having. Um, and so yeah, that's kind of how, how it happened, man. All right. So I, I, I love this conversation and I love what I, what I saw the other day. And as we continue to talk, I'm going to show some folks, um, some, some of the images and stuff you've done, um, uh, to prove, right. This ain't something we just talking about, but, but with so much going on today, right. We got COVID, we got, um, uh, the economy right now, we got civil mm -hmm. unrest and people are probably, um, thinking about, man, I may not have the money I had a few months ago, or maybe I got the money, but I'm, I'm afraid to spend it the way I would have before. So I need to hold on a little bit tighter. Um, and they're looking for ways that, Hey, how can I still build a business? How can I still grow economically? How can I still support my family? Um, even though, you know, I don't have all the resources and, and what you're talking about here, using your mobile device, right. In order to create amazing, I'm gonna say the, the images I've seen you come up with are amazing. Um, I feel like this is going to help some people. So, y'all, if y'all got questions, too, go ahead and start dropping them down below. We're going to go to Milton in a second. But, Milton, tell us about the fact, right? I know you said that, um, and we had a little, you know, one of our conversations, you told me, people think it matters between an iPhone versus the Pixel versus uh, the Samsung or whatever it may be, the Android. But you said none of it matters, right? They can get busy with whatever kind of smart mobile device they have. Absolutely. So I recently put out a post uh, on my page where I shared... Uh, what I believe to be one of the, the, the number one secrets to being able to capture professional looking images with your smartphone. And essentially, if I were to summarize it, essentially all it is, is that we don't use the native camera apps. We use third party apps um, to be able to capture what we need. And, and essentially, and, you know, without getting super technical, what that allows you to do is that allows you to be able to level the playing field. As long as the camera, the smartphone is between two to three years old, as long as they're not, you know, uh, you know, like I said before, I don't know, 2018, 2017, as long as your phone is about three, th under three years old, then the quality of those images are going to come out the same. The real secret special sauce is just like when you make a pot of greens or you make uh, you make some potato salad. It's the seasoning. It's the editing that happens on the back end that really, really makes the difference between um, what that final image is going to come up and what it's going to look like, not which camera device that you have. I, I love that, y'all. Did y'all get that? Let me know. Drop a comment down below if you got that. Milton is saying, it does not matter what kind of phone you have. It's the, the third-party apps, right, and what you can do beyond it. So I, I think that right there is just a game changer. And that right there might have saved somebody a lot of money, right? Because I think one of the main reasons I see people say I need to go get that new phone is because of the camera, right? Right, exactly. Most people make their, their, their decision, their phone decision is based on the camera. It is the catalyst for, the, for, for that decision, absolutely. Mm, I love it. I love it. All right, Milton. So I'm a, while you talk now, I'm going to show some of these pictures that you get, some of these before and afters. And take us, you know, what tips do you have? Like, what's part of the process that you use? Um, like, what can you share for people to be able to get, you know, better pictures or to get to know their phones better so they can get better, um, you know, be better kind of results from it when they work with them? Absolutely. So the very first thing I would say um, is that, again, number one, do not use the camera app, the, the, the native camera app. Um, my two favorite uh, camera applications to, that I recommend is Adobe Lightroom. Um, it's free. You can download it. Um, and two, the second one is called Moments. Now, Moments, I believe it's under five bucks, like two to three bucks or whatever the case may be. And you can both find them both inside of the Android Play Store. I'm sorry, the Android Google Play Store and also the iOS Store. Um, download those applications. And, you know, when you, when you go to shoot, you want to shoot in what we call RAW. And what that what the raw profile will allow you to do is to be able to have a flat profile and to start from scratch. Imagine eating ramen noodles or what we in Baltimore, we call them oodles and noodles with no seasoning on them. Right. And then you're making your own seasoning and that type of thing. One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people will make um, is by using a lot of filters. And then what those filters will do, it ages the image, number one. 
I mean, and two, it does not allow you to be able to customize the look and feel that you want. When you look at the before and after from these images, what you're seeing is you're seeing a flat image, and then you see me putting my secret special sauce in the seasoning um, of that image. Showing the pics while you've been talking, man. Um, uh, what do y'all think about those pics out of the show? Just drop a comment down below as we go. And I'm looking at a comment. What's up, my guy? Uh, Kevon said, uh, yep, the camera, camera and battery life. He said, for him, Camera and battery life is how he is choosing what to get and when to get it. I love that, man. Um, yeah, man. What's up, Donna? Donna, Donna uh, is all right. What's going on? Said third party apps are the game changer. Uh, Brianna, what's up, Brianna? Said if I can take pics like Milton, y'all gonna be in trouble, trouble. That's what, <laughs> <laughs> That's what Brianna said. Um, I love it, right? And Tracy's uh, put some comments down. What you said, Adobe Lightroom and moments, shoot raw filters. Uh, uh, age images, right? And y'all saw some of the examples. So I was showing some of the some of the actual images you sent over for us. And and like, how long does it take you? Like, what's the the length of time? Is this like hours? And you back and you got the lights off in a room, man? And you you know looking through a lens? Like like, what's the process for you to just use these third party apps and get these images? No, man. So from the from from start to finish, um, you know, and I'll post. I'll actually post the, the same post that I put on my page. I'll put inside of the TSP um, group, Perfect. so probably, people can actually see. They can see proof. Um, and that type of thing. And so you're, you're talking literally minutes, right? Um, once you've decided the type of photos you want to take, let's just say you want to do some headshots, you want to do portraits or whatever the case may be, you can do that in the comfort of your own home, right? Um, with minimal equipment. And so when I post that post, I'm going to make sure I put the equipment list and everything for you guys to see it. But what's most important is that it literally takes minutes for you to sit down, take your picture um, and edit the image within, honestly, with, within minutes. I'm talking less than five to 10 minutes uh, to be able to get, to get a net result uh, and that type of thing. Sometimes you need a little bit of coaching, a little bit of help, and that's what I'm here for. But the point of the matter is it is possible. We're living through the perfect storm, okay? And the perfect storm was, I, I kind of want to lead into the story. I was, I was on assignment in Las Vegas. The cup, there was a couple um, that had gotten uh, married um, in, 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 um, in Venice, right? And so he proposed to her there, and they wanted to do a reenactment. This is probably like 2015, 2016 timeframe. And so they decided they wanted to do a reenactment. And at that reenactment, um, they wanted to go to Las Vegas. So they flew me out to Las Vegas to do the reenactment. We go to the Venetian, we get inside these gondolas, and the guy's doing the whole paddling thing. And so I have my professional camera, and then when we get under one of the small bridges, they hand me their smartphone. It was one of the Android devices, and he says, hey, man, can you take some pictures of us? Um, you know, with my phones, I want to kind of want to have something right now to post on the social media. So I go and I take the picture and I got to be honest with you, Lamar, I'm looking at my camera. I have a $3,000 camera and I'm looking at this smartphone and I had my, my first, my first oh ish moment, like, oh, the images coming from that smartphone was, was, was killing what I had when I was looking at on the back of my, on my back of my, uh, my camera. Long and short of it is it was at that point when I made. before weddings being shot, um, you know, with, with, with smartphones, and they are right now, right? Video in photography, food photography, anything that doesn't really have to move, you can capture with your smartphone, okay? And you can even shoot great video with, with, with that too. That's, that's, we're gonna be putting that content out a little bit later. But the point of the matter is right now, if you're, you're looking to create content for your business, um, whether it's headshots, whether it's product photography, behind the scenes images, um, if you're trying to tell the story of your brand, your smartphone can do it. Um, and I'm here to help you. Awesome. I love that. Hey, guys, again, um, before we wrap, if you got questions, go ahead and drop them down below. I see a lot of comments. People are wild. Milton, they're going crazy down in the comments. Um, if you got questions for Milton about what you're doing and how you can do it better, make sure you drop those down below. We're going to come to questions in just one second. Um, and and, and uh, Milton, real quick, could you just um, repeat the apps you gave before? Because a lot, a few people like missed them and they're trying to write them down and get them again. <laughs> Absolutely. So the, so there's two sets of apps. The two there's there's the, the camera app itself, and then there's the editing app. The first, the, the photography camera apps, the third party camera apps, is Lightroom Mobile. It's free. You can download it in Moments, um, which is another third party app. And that application, I think it's like three or four bucks, if I'm not mistaken. The editing applications that I use. Um, is Adobe Lightroom, so the same one you just, for the camera, it's a camera app and editing platform, and the other one is a, is a platform called Snapseed, okay, which gives you a lot of the same uh, uh, capabilities of Photoshop without all of the, without the learning curve. That's probably the best way for me to put it. So that's Snapseed for editing, Lightroom Mobile for editing, uh, Moments for camera app, and Lightroom Mobile for camera app. Those are the, those are the four apps that I recommend, the, the three apps I recommend. Awesome. In that same vein, my man Kayvon, he said, 
Um, do you have any suggestions on videography settings and apps? It would it be the same apps or do they need to switch it up and get something different? So, so yes, I, I do not recommend the apps that I just gave for video as those applications are primarily for still photography um, or even if you're doing events or whatever the case may be. Um, from a video perspective, my favorite go-to application is an application called Prolific um, because okay. Prolific allows you to get the same uh, video camera settings um, as if you were using a DSLR or some pro-level uh, video camera. So that's, that's, that's my recommendation there. All right. I love it. Hey, Victoria has a great question, Milton. She said, how old is too old for an iPhone to be used? Because we said we said <laughs> we said it don't matter. But she got she got the iPhone four. I mean, is that iPhone four going to get the job done? So every year um, they, they update, um, in many cases, the software. Sometimes the camera stays the same, but a lot of times they, they, they update the software. And so the resolution on the front of your camera, sometimes the people make, make the mistake, Lamar, of upgrading their phone because the front plate and the back plate of their cam of their phones are, are either scratched or dirty. And there's nothing wrong with the camera itself. So sometimes by simply just going and having the front and back plate, your camera sits between the front and the back plate of your phone. And so to answer Victoria's question, my, rec my go-to recommendation, no less than about three years old. But there's some of you that may have phones um, that may be four or five years old that are still usable, my recommendation is to make sure this is, is less than three years old because again, the tech, not the software and the resolution of the images that are coming out are gonna look 20 times better in my opinion. I love it, I love it. Uh, Kayvon, he's taking notes, he's dropping the, the, the handwriting emoji down and, 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 and taking notes. Uh, what's up Shanti? Shanti Ray said, uh, what about lighting, op lighting options or tools, right? Are there some things like, what should they be thinking about in terms of like, this is a smart group today, ain't they Milton? They on it, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> they on it, man. So, you know what, Lamar? A lot of times, man, people go out and they buy this stuff already. So they already got it sitting in the closet, right? Mm, um, and they've yeah. tried to use it. They just haven't quite figured out how to bring this puzzle together to make a, a, a complete picture. And so, you know, obviously that's why we, we're doing this right now to show people, to empower you, to use what you have to be able to create what you need to get to the coins. <laughs> What's up, Brianna? Say, I clean. I clean my lens whenever things look a little ashy. That's Absolutely. That's what, that's what, that's what but let me let me, ask, let me let me answer our yeah. question, man. She said, you know, from a lighting perspective, you know, um, I like, you know, when you're just getting started, you know, Amazon has a lot of basic studio kits. You don't need to spend a lot of money. Um, I believe you need um, probably between two to four lights, depending on what you're shooting. Um, for those of you guys who are shooting clothing and you want that clean white background. The biggest issue that a lot of people make, um, the biggest mistake that a lot of people make is that they try to light up the subject, the person that's wearing the clothing, in the background with the same set of lights, and it doesn't work that way. You need to set up two zones so that you get that pure white background at the same time while lighting up your subject, okay, um, and that type of thing. So from a lighting perspective, I really believe that you know, by having you know, three to four of these simple studio kit lights, you can get them for under 100 bucks, maybe 150 bucks at the most. And um, they will serve you. I'm still using the same lights that I used from 2009, 2010. Wow, that's awesome. You know what, uh, Milton? Actually, my same lights are from about the same age, right? Yeah, I man. Use them. As long as I cut them on, they work. Um, and and y'all, I think I think I really want you to 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 catch and pick up what Milton is putting down. Um, where he's talking about, like, kind of using what you got. He didn't say you got to go out and buy a whole bunch of stuff. You know, the things he was talking about buying was like a $3 app, three dollar. Look, you can get both apps, right? And be still spend less than $10, less than you're going for lunch for out here for fast food. So for I sure. think it's about getting your hands on it and then just, just actually getting in practice. You know, whenever I would talk to a photographer, Milton, or a writer, or, you know, a videographer, and I would say, how'd you get good? And they told me just by doing it every day, right? Just doing it, right? you know, just better and better. And um, I know with us, with our movies, you do documentaries. I mean, the way we learn how to get good was that we did so much stuff bad. And we right. did it bad, and <laughs> we would say, all right, I need to make sure I never do that again. All right, this looked terrible. We need some lights. That sounds bad. I need some sound. Um, so they just, just get out there and practice, right? Yeah, I, I really feel like, man, your best, your best work comes from... So photography is one of the most you know, forgiving things in the world. I found mm. some of my best... Um, some of my most creative uh, 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 images came from the mistakes that I made, similar to what you're saying with the video. And same thing with video for me, right? I've shot multiple documentaries and things like that. And it's, it's in those mistakes where most people try to shy away from mistakes. I recommend go practice, go make a bunch of mistakes because that's where you're going to find that, that, that signature look and that signature feel. No different than cooking, man. 
I love it. Hey, can, can you give them, because I know somebody listening may be thinking that um, this sounds good, but I can't use this in my business. Because I, I do want, like, we literally are talking about for your business, y'all. Because I know somebody's saying, well, that's cool, but that's, you know, for selfies and stuff, right? Um, but if somebody's watching, like, like tell me some of, and this is kind of off the top, top of the head, right? But some of, and you've done a lot of stuff yourself, um, some, maybe some different types of businesses you've seen in TSP and maybe some different types of images they could actually use for their brands. So to take the holistic approach of, you know, content as, as, as a whole, right? So before somebody can know who you are, um, you need products of your, you know, pictures of your products, right? They need, you need pictures of you. So photos of you, photos of the behind the scenes um, of you creating, like the story of you creating your products and services, um, uh, photos of um, uh, uh, the, the, customer, the customer interaction, right? What we call lifestyle photos. Right, lifestyle images, editorial images that you would submit to blogs and submit to uh, um, you know various magazines to, to do ads and things like that. The the, the 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 possibility is endless. Let me be very transparent when I say this: if there is a particular type of photography that cell phones may not work for, if you if and, and that would be, I would say, anything dealing with jewelry, like glossy jewelry. Um, because that requires so much more lighting and, and, and specialized lenses. Everything else can be shot with a smartphone. Period. I love it, y'all. Did y'all get that? Let me know if you got that down in the chat below. Um, this is good, Milton. Uh, Shanti said, oh, this helps. Um, you know, people going crazy down the chat. Um, uh, Tamara said, I shoot fashion with my, my phone and so appreciate your tips. The tripod and lighting is a game changer. Um, uh, Victoria said two lighting zones. Got it. Brianna's oohing and on down there in the chat. Um, Shanti said shooting products. So this is helping. Uh, Brittany said, thanks for the gems. Um, so also, also a lot of great stuff. So Milton, I want to make sure, um, if you guys got any last questions, make sure you drop them down below. Uh, Milton, I want to make sure how can these people find you if they want to get a hold of you? You have an amazing Facebook group. Um, let's tell them about the group. Um, let's tell them about the podcast, right? How can they learn more about these different tips and nuggets that you drop in on a regular? So I made a decision over the COVID-19, over this time during COVID, to pivot, right, from not just being the person to be hired to come in and shoot. Well, I couldn't because we, most of us had to stay at home. So I made a decision to leverage the relationships that I had in my last 12 years of experience of creating content to start teaching, right? But not just teaching the photography and video side of things, but leveraging the relationships like people like Lamar and others um, who are running businesses right now and using content um, as a way to be able to um, to build their business and businesses and brands. And so you were used we're leveraging the killer content podcast. It launches on July the 1st. Right now, you can come and get inside of the, uh, the Facebook group. Um, it is buzzing. We're putting fresh content in there every day uh, for you to be able to, to, to learn. You know, honestly, in my opinion, man, I really feel like the term content and the reason why we're calling it the killer content podcast. I don't really think that people fully understand what content is. Um, I'm not going to get into the, to, to the full spiel of that right now. You can learn more about inside the group. But, you know, how it applies to an e-commerce business versus a service-based business, you know, versus someone who make clothes and fashion and that type of thing, um, it matters. And so the nuance of how content is actually created and how it applies to get somebody from not knowing who you are to putting money into your bank account and them receiving value that right there is what the Killer Content Podcast is all about. Um, and I'm, we're bringing the, the best of the best to, to the table to talk about what's working right now. When you look at the landscape of all the podcasts that are out there, why would, what's going to make this different is that we're bringing people that are that they're working businesses that are working right now um, and how they're using content to be able to grow their various brands. Y'all, uh, you heard it first, right? I love it. We dropped it down to the chat as well. Um, and it was right there on the screen. You saw it when uh, Milton was up. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash killer content podcast and killer content. That's with two K's, right? Just like on Milton's shirt right there, uh, killer content podcast. Um, this has been amazing, man. Um, any Thank last you. words you want to leave the people with and anything you want to like, like how can they get started? Like what, what, what should they do right now, Milton? So I would say the very first thing to do is make a decision to lean in um, and set a schedule that you're going to shoot something every day, right? At the bare minimum, shoot something once a week. Right. Find something uh, in your business that you can shoot and set a schedule that you're going to shoot something every week. Um, and as you'll notice from week one to week two to week three to week four, start posting it, posting inside of our group. I'll, my, myself and my team are there to give feedback. 
um, and to help you to grow. And so, yeah, that's what I would say is, you know, I mean, get started. Um, the way you start is not the way you're going to finish. So let's lean in. Thank you so much for this for this interview, um, for leading the charge and, and creating a platform for black businesses to come together, to learn, to inspire and to, and to go take action. man. so I appreciate you and your wife for that. Thank you, man. Uh, you're very welcome. And thank you for um, coming to the forefront, like stepping up in this conversation today. Like there's a lot going on, um, but we wanted to help black business owners. And that's an everyday thing that does not stop. Regardless of what's going on in the world, we're still going to build up our community, build up our businesses. And it all starts with here, y'all. But guess what? None of it works if you don't take action. So, again, thank you, Milton. I appreciate you, man. Uh, for everybody that's watching, I want to tell you, um, look, again, you've been tuned in. This is Traffic, Sales, and Profit with Lamar Tyler. We help entrepreneurs do three things, drive more traffic, convert more sales, and grow the amount of profit in your business. Make sure you connect with Milton. Make sure you get a hold of the Killer Content Podcast. You join the Facebook group because this is – uh, uh, this path to content, let me just be real, this path to content is going to create resources for you. And especially if you can get good at creating yourself, it'll produce resources that keep paying off week after week, month after month, year after year, right? We still have content that we can repurpose and that we put out. Like the other day, literally, I was taking, taking pieces of something um, and some videos that we did back in, we shot them in 2013 and was, was, was taking pieces of it and putting it on getting ready to go on Instagram. And I know it's going to do an amazing job on Instagram, right? Because it still fits the target market. So I want y'all to do, do like Milton said, get started today and get rolling. Everybody, we appreciate you. Make sure you are locked in here in the Traffic Sales and Profit Facebook group. And we'll see you next time. Appreciate you. Peace.